Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be back here on YouTube. I know it's been a while, but I am back. So look for videos. Let me know in the comments what videos you wanna see. We're starting off with the Sephora sale. Listen, let me tell you a little story. It started yesterday for everybody. It started on Friday for Rouge members. I started filming this video. I filmed pretty much three quarters of it. Camera died. I went to go edit last night and there was no sound. So I'm starting over completely. So this is going to be a little bit late, but hopefully you will have enough time to shop the sale. You'll still have a couple days. It goes till the 24th on Sephora. I was just sitting like this. So I have like nail marks in my cheek. But anyway, everything that I am talking about will be linked below. So you can just click the link and go shop. I am giving you my top 15 to 20 things that you need. We're talking everything from a little bit of skincare to of course makeup. We're talking foundations and contour sticks and blushes and eyeshadow palettes. And most of it, I wanna say like 95% of it is clean. You know I'm a big clean beauty person. So I'm gonna try and give you the best products that are the cleanest products, of course. And everything's on sale. So if you're rouge, it's 20%. If you are one tier below that, I forget what it's called, it's 15 and then 10, but everything that Sephora brand is 30% off. So if you haven't checked it out already, go check it out. I actually went into the store for the first time on Friday, not the first time, the first time during the sale on Friday, and I was gonna actually just like buy everything that day and then show you what I'm getting. However, the line was out the door, so. I'm sharing things that I've been using for a long time with you, plus some stuff that I ordered that just got here today. Okay, let's jump into the video. I'm talking way too much as usual. We are going to start with some skincare. Tatcha. Tatcha is an amazing brand. It's clean. It can be pricey, so you want to stock up on things when, it, when they're on sale. This Tatcha primer, my makeup artist used for the first time on me when I went to YNR's 50th anniversary for the red carpet most recently. I'm obsessed with it. A little goes a very long way. So this is gonna last a really long time. It comes with a little, little like spoolie thing that I have in my bathroom. You can also use your finger, but I recommend you take a tiny, tiny little bit, covers your whole face, and it leaves your skin completely flawless. Pores are goodbye. Later pores, redness is tamed, fine lines and wrinkles are filled in. This is going to prep your canvas to be, even if you don't wanna wear makeup that day and you just wanna wear maybe some concealer or just like a tinted sunscreen or a tinted lotion, you would put this on first. So what I love about this is there's no silicone in it, so it's not just coating your skin. Tatcha is skin care in your, this is pre-makeup. So I highly recommend getting this as your primer. This is gonna last forever. And then I am obsessed with the rice wash by Tatcha. It has fine, fine, fine little beads in it. I think it's rice. Clean, smells amazing. My skin just feels so beautiful after this. I use it only at night. So I'm always changing up my skincare. You guys know that I am a beauty addict. <laughs> so I change up my skincare often. I don't think I'll ever not use this. It is so good. It's going to lightly exfoliate, but never dry. So sometimes, you know, when you use exfoliators and your skin gets super, super dried out, you dry your face and you're like, ooh, it feels so tight and itchy. That's not gonna happen with this. It is hydrating, creamy, but gets everything off. It's like a spa at home and it's incredible. And what I do is I just restock on my Tata Harbor nourishing oil cleanser, I double cleanse. So if I'm wearing makeup that day, I'll oil cleanse with this, which again, takes everything off. I don't even have to use eye makeup remover because I just take the oil and I do like, go like that, I do like that, I go like that, I wipe everything off, and then I follow with this. Ah, it's a dream. These are gonna keep your skin, even if you're acne prone, you still wanna wash with an oil because oil combats oil. I used to think or believe and were told that if you have oily skin, you should stay away from oil, and if your skin breaks out, you should stay away from oil. That is not true. It's the type of oil you use, and it's the way you use it. These are clean, essential oils, and it's not gonna strip your skin, because when you strip your skin, especially if you're acne prone, you're gonna dry it out more, your skin's gonna produce more oil, you're gonna break out more, it's a vicious cycle. So, these two products. Let's move on to foundation. So I get asked a lot what my favorite clean foundation is. The Kosas one, I love. And when I was gonna get it originally, I read the reviews and they weren't amazing. And so I never got it. And then again, when I went to go do the red carpet, my makeup artist used this on me for a red carpet. It's flawless. The coverage is amazing. I'll show you on my hand. There's a very wide variety of colors, so you can definitely color match. 
and it is definitely really, really beautiful coverage, nice finish, and I love it. So I don't know what the negative reviews were, really, I actually have to go back and look because I went and got it and I wear it every day now and it's clean and it is, um, there's no scent, it's great. And then I'm also using the Say, I think you pronounce it Say, um, not really sure. This is a, is it a foundation? I think it's a foundation, but it's much lighter and it gives you a glow. So actually what I've been doing, both clean, I've been mixing them together to create this coverage that makes my skin glow. I am obsessed with it. So it does give coverage, um, but it gives a beautiful glow. So when I mix the two together, I'm really happy with, this one's a little bit darker, so it gives me a little bit more tan than this one, but I love the two together to layer. But if you're looking for one or the other, I would say the Say is a little more sheer. It's not as much coverage if you need the coverage. This has a little more coverage. This gives you more of a glow and a dewy look. This one's a little more matte. Moving on, let's hit the contour contour stick bronzers. The Westman Atelier, obsessed with it, been using it. Mary Phillips gives you the Hailey Bieber no makeup look tips using the Westman Atelier. This color is called Biscuit. It's beautiful. It's so easy to use, really easily blends. And again, I love the color. I love how small it is. It's so easy to work with. And I have been using it. I'm obsessed with it. You do the underpainting per the Mary Phillips technique. technique. If you haven't seen it on TikTok, it's where you put your uh, contour and concealer on before you put on your foundation. And it just gives you that like model off duty, beautiful. I just kind of woke up like this, but I look amazing look using this. So this is the biscuit, but then I just ordered the rare beauty one. So this, let me just show you the difference in the colors. I just tried this today cause it just got here. This is amazing. It blends beautifully. I'll have to show you the difference in the colors. Let me show you on my hand. So they're very similar. I'm gonna link them again below. The Rare Beauty one is in the color Bright Side and this one's in Biscuit. So I'll make a little line here so you can see that for contour and technically like bronzer. And this is actually like their bronzer stick from Rare Beauty. And this one is a little bit, you see the colors are a little different. This has a little more red to it. And this one, again, I might've chosen the wrong colors in the rare beauty one, but it's like creamy. I can't explain it. They both blend really well, but the Westman Atelier definitely has more of like a drier finish. This is like, I wanna say waxy. It's super, super, super creamy. Look how easily it blends. It, you know what, it feels like it has like an oil in it maybe. That, not a bad oil, not in a bad way, in a creamy way that it just, do you see how like when I rub the Rare Beauty, it just blends in a little bit better than the Westman. Like I really have to kind of go in with it. But again, I love both. I'm gonna be using both. I might try ordering a different color in this and seeing as like a bronzer how this works. This was more contour with this shade. So I think I'm gonna try and order it in a different shade. Next, let's go to face bronzer. Clean, you wanna try and stay away from, this is the Ilia one, I need a new one, but if you don't have this, you need to get it. Mine is in the color Drawn In, and it is so perfect and beautiful and gives you that like really nice color that you need in your, in your skin. You can use it to contour. You always wanna set your liquid or cream with powder, so I always do both. And you wanna make sure that when you are using powders around your face, they don't have talc in them. That's big because you don't wanna breathe in the talc. Go do your research, Google it. Well, don't Google it. I don't know how much you'll find on Google, but um, do your research. You don't wanna breathe in talc. So anytime you're using powder, especially if you're contouring your nose, putting on blush, cheeks, you wanna try and stay away from talc as much as possible. This is talc free. It's clean. I love Ilia. Next, let's go to, let's go to cheeks. Let's go to cheeks with the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Beauty Blush Wand. So I'm wearing that today under everything. And the way I applied it was I did this underpainted, added these two on top, did concealer, and then this. So I kind of just applied two dots here, here, nose, here, here, and then painted it in. And it just gives a rosy, beautiful, like matte finish. So it doesn't give you the glowy look. It gives you kind of like the matte look. And I put highlighter on after, which I'll tell you about. Let's talk concealer. I'm gonna give you two concealers today because long story short, I've been using the Stay Naked concealer forever. I mean, if you go back to when I first started YouTube, I've been using it years and years and years and years. I think they discontinued it and they're continuing it with this Stay Naked Quickie 
24 hour wear multi-use concealer. I tried it today. I really love it. It is not clean, but you need to pick your poison. So not everything that you're gonna use is always gonna be clean. I am giving you a clean option, the Kosas Concealer, which I really like. Dab it on, and then they give you this, I tried it. I don't know how much, I mean, you could use it. They call, they say like it's a buffer. So it feels good, it's, ve it's a vegan, it's made from vegan materials. And, um, and you just buff in your concealer under your eyes. Um, if you're highlighting, whatever you're doing. I like to go in with a much smaller brush in the corner of my eyes, because I like to go in the corners and here. So that won't necessarily work with this, but it's cool if you want to use this for like highlighting here, your nose, your forehead. I really like it. I feel like it makes you look really flawless under your eyes. But then there's the Kosas Concealer. This is again, clean. I always get one shade lighter as well with my concealer so that I can highlight and really do the facelift look. I love, and um, I think it really has a nice finish. It doesn't cake, it's creamy, it's good coverage, good colors, a wide variety. I have three colors of these. So I have light, medium, and then a darker. And I use them for everything. So again, clean, great thing to get. So I got this highlighter from Rare Beauty. It sells out. I don't even know if it's still in stock, you could check. If it is in stock, I'll grab it because it sells out so fast. I think it was on TikTok or something and somebody showed how insane this was and it sold out in like two seconds. So this one is in the color Flaunt. Look at this. First of all, look at my finger. I mean, it's insane. Do you see that? I don't know if you can see how beautiful this is. If it's still in stock, get it for the sale right now. It's going to sell out. It always does. I got lucky. I don't even know if it's still there as we speak. The Give line is a clean beauty line by Gwen Stefani. The brand sent me a few things and then I went and purchased the rest of the line. Okay. So it's that good that I could get it for free and I went and bought it. That's how good it is. So they had sent me these painted up mousse eyeshadow paints. These are the most insane things I've ever used on my eyes. So I did a reel on Instagram and on TikTok. I did a TikTok on it. I used the blue and I showed you guys, if you could see how pigmented that is, if you want like a deep blue and you wanna go with the bolder colors, which are the colors they sent me, you can go full on, you can use it as a liner, you can use it as like full on blue or you know any of the bold colors on your eyes and go for it. Or if you kind of just use a little bit on a brush, you can sort of tame the color down and make it more like a baby blue on your eyes, which is what I did to show you that you can use bold colors, but they don't have to be super bold. You can diffuse it a little bit with a brush and by like tapping very lightly with the brush and making it a little lighter. But if you can see the texture of this, it stays on till you want it to come off. If you want to sleep in it, don't recommend sleeping in your makeup, but if you do, it'll be perfect the next day. It does not budge. It's so easy to work with too. It's creamy, it blends. I've used it as eyeliner. I use it, you could use it as a base to your eyeshadow. You could use it as eyeshadow alone. You can mix and match. There's just so much you could do and so many fun colors. Next are their eyeliners. They sent again all of the colors. Brown, black, blue, navy, purple, green. I mean, just look at this, so beautiful. The liners are gel liners, they're 24 hour liners. They go on so creamy, so smooth. Then you can kind of smudge it out if you want to. They wear so well. You can like literally just use the liner, smudge it out and use it as like a shadow liner. You can line the inner upper waterline, the lower waterline, use it as a liner, buff it out with some powder. I mean, it's just the best eyeliner pencils I've ever used. If you're gonna use a gel eyeliner pencil, get these. Well, let's go to the palettes. So the Give eyeshadow palettes. I got, again, they did not send me this. I purchased this and you can see it's a quad. Again, talc free. So anything you're using around here, you wanna try and stay away from talc. I'm wearing this one today, Just a Girl, the Just a Girl palette. Again, everything's linked below. I really, 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 so this is the one that I'm wearing. Look how pretty and that's what's on my eyes. If you can see, I, I love it, it's talc free. The packaging is really cute and the colors are really great. Let's talk about eyelash curler for a second. The Tweezer Man one, I used to use only the Shu Yamera, which is this one. Both are available, I could link both below, or this is the Kimono Kwe. I love the Tweezer Man one. It really curls your lashes. My lashes are super straight, so I love how these curl. The Give Mascara, like fake lashes. This 
mascara is one of the best, and it's clean, one of the best mascaras I've ever used. Look at the wand, look at the ball on top. It really helps like get that full cover, that full like control to get all that color in there and lift your lashes. But the wand itself is like a brush. It's like a comb. So you're combing on the color and then you're like buffing it out with the, with the ball. This wand is the best. The formula is amazing. And um, they sent this to me, but I'm definitely buying more. And then another clean option is the Cali Ray. This is a tubing mascara. So again, great wand, not as, I'm not, I was blown away by this before I use this. Then I use this and I'm like, it's like fake lashes. I have no fake lashes on. These are my lashes using this. But I do love this. This is the tubing one. So when you take it off, it just like kind of comes off with water. No fallout. So both of these have a zero fallout. I used to always have the black around my eyes until I found these two. Last but not least, we're talking the Makeup by Mario palette. I've had it, or Mario, if you're Canadian, I'm Canadian, Mario, Mario. Uh, this is just a neutral palette. It is the Master Mattes. It's his first palette that he ever came out with. I got this when it came out and I was like, okay, yeah, it's just basically like nudes and browns. I use it all the time. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Let me know in the comments what videos you wanna see. I will be doing these. Kelly's Kitchen is coming back. So cooking and makeup tutorials fully. Oh, wait, I did forget the lips. Lipsticks by Give. I did forget, sorry guys. I'm wearing it today. There is a liner to overline your lips. Mine is in Do Whatever. There's a little brush on one side and then it's like a really cool thing where you, um, the way it's shaped, it kind of lets you overline your lips with precision and then you could color it in and then these lipsticks. Okay, everything's linked below. Let me know any questions. I'm happy to answer them in the comments. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and on TikTok. TikTok's Kelly Kruger Brooks. Instagram is Kelly L. Kruger. And then of course, be sure to subscribe here so you, be, you never miss another video. Happy shopping. I hope you guys get everything before it sells out. All right, Mwah. bye guys.